Time for our pet of the week. And you know what? We usually have dogs from Last Day Dog Rescue. Chris Brooks, of course, has brought a cat to remind us that Last Day Dog Rescue, Chris, rescues more than just dogs. Yep, we have yes. cats and kittens too. So this is Antarctica. She's about eight, nine weeks old and uh, looking for her forever home. Oh she goodness. came in with, I think, four other kittens in the litter and uh, they'll be available this weekend to go. Yeah. She's a typical kitten, so she's playful, likes to get into everything. She's and, having a yeah. moment of, of <laughs> solace. She's thoughtful. I give her just a few moments. She's going to be climbing the sofa. <laughs> and scratch away. She's adorable, though. Yeah, she's super cute. She'll be out at the Canton event this weekend that we have going on. We have two events this weekend. We have the Gordon Chevrolet, which they're actually uh, stuffing, I think, a Suburban or something for us, full of supplies I and donations. Say cats. And, not no. cats. Totally not cats. <laughs> okay. We supplies. I think it's a wonderful, wonderful way to do yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. So that's, so that's from 11 to 1.30? Saturday. Yep, mm -hmm. 11 to 1.30. Um, and that's in Garden City. And then um, we have the Canton event as well on Saturday um, from noon to 3. At the Petco there. Yeah, they both have uh, Ford Road. So, so should be easy to each find. Other. Exactly. Yep, yep, should be easy to find. So how many kittens or cats do you have right now at Last So we have about 24 right now. Um, is that typical for a summertime? Summertime is pretty typical. We do get yeah. a, a lot more in the summertime. Um, there's a, we have, you know, some kittens right now too. So they're all looking for their homes or, you know, really trying to get the kittens out. It's hard to take them to events, you know, because yeah. they get really scared they're in the noise. Skittish. So, yeah. yeah. So hopefully people go online, fill out yeah. an application. They can go to lastdaydogrescue.org, fill out an application and come out and meet our dogs and cats this weekend at the event, you know, or if they're looking to foster, we're they looking for fosters too. as Always well. looking for foster parents, yep, right? Absolutely. Cats, kittens, dogs, puppies, seniors. What are the requirements for being a foster parent? Uh, basically, you just have to have, you know, a warm home to put them in and, and be able to, to give the time that they need. So if you're yeah. going to do a puppy, you need to have a little more time, be home a little more. And Senior dogs you, are a little easier. You know, they're lazy. <laughs> <laughs> they like to lay around. They just want a good lap, <laughs> some food. Right. So for, for somebody who wants to adopt a kitten really quickly, what are some of the supplies they'll need? So, you know, litter box, litter, you know, food, basic stuff like that. You cat know, they're toys. bowls, they're cat toys, Scratch you know. Pad. Cats are a lot easier than dogs. You don't have to be home as much. You don't right. have to, like, let them outside, take they them for walks, play, you know. They oh, like Antarctica, we want to get you a home. She's a sweetheart, I'm just saying. We're just going <laughs> to snuggle after this and get the perm motor going. Thank She's you very much, Chris Brooks. Last day dog <laughs> Thank rescue, Thank you folks. so much.